Go ahead, Kestrel. It might be worth mentioning to what to do when you start to black out when you're in tricorded. That's right. How to negate it. So negating uh, G forces, it's going to depend on the skills of the pilot, of course, and how much experience you have. But uh, I will use, I will actually demonstrate this as an example right now. So let's go ahead and start with, so I'm gonna do a tricord start right off the start line like I was talking about. So I'm gonna angle my ship right about there. And actually what I'm gonna do for you guys in Discord here is I'm going to stream to Discord as well so you guys get real time. There you go. So here's what it looks like, right? I'm gonna be aiming my, the crosshair of my ship right, right about down this um, docking collar here. And I know that my tricord is gonna end up where I want to be, which is the same place you were aiming before right on the right tip of that donut. So here we go, we're gonna go three, two, one, go. There's my TVI, it went right where I knew it was gonna go. Now I'm going at 28 Gs, which is extremely fast. We're max performance here. All right, so the first thing I did there, you notice that was starting to gray out, was I, I let off the accelerator, I let off the coupled. That was what, just a, D, a coupled break. And no, that's not the most optimal way to slow down, but in an emergency situation or a situation where you're not super worried, Somebody's uh, shooting a missile at me, by the way. Um, that's one way to do it. Let's just use a, uh, it's a, it's a toaster, by the way. Just use a, um, let off your, um, stop thrusting, essentially. If you, if you stop thrusting in all directions in zero G, you will eventually regain consciousness and, and the blood will lessen from your head. So in a situation like that, where you're just going straight, literally just stop thrusting. That's one way to mitigate G. Second way to mitigate Gs is to thrust in the exact opposite direction. So for example, if I'm in a turn and I'm up strafing, let's do that real quick. So I'm up strafing, you can, you can see it on my overlay. What's gonna happen here is I'm going to down strafe now. Watch what happens. I'm still in the same turn, but now I'm down strafing and it got rid of all the Gs. I'm in negative Gs, I'm gonna up strafe now. Clear, we're clear, we're clear. So on and so forth. And this principle is gonna come in extreme handy, more so in atmosphere where we're gonna be pulling turns of like 30 Gs or more. Uh, but up here, it's still something you could use. You can definitely thrust in the opposite direction that you're currently turning in to mitigate Gs. Um, outside of that, you could rotate. So if you're doing a, you know, a tricord going up to the left, like I'm doing now, you can instead do it down to the left. That mitigates Gs like that. I'm moving the TVI in the same direction, but I'm doing it with a different rotation, like so. Still going in the same direction. Look, the TVI is not moving. It's still where I want it to be. But I'm keeping my Gs in check by simply rotating the ship and alternating between up and down strafe, tricording the entire time. Now, caveat there is when you're down strafing into a tricord, it's not going to be as optimal as up strafe. Try to up strafe whenever you can, but every pilot has to make the sacrifices needed to mitigate G forces. Best ways to do that, of course, are to make your turns as accurate as con and concise as possible with an up strafe. The longer you're in G-force stress, even if it's not as heavy, um, the worse it's going to be. You're better off with quick and heavy G-force stress than long and moderate G-force stress. And this is going to come in extreme importance once we get down into atmosphere. So those are some ways to mitigate Gs. Um, you know, there are, there are definitely some tricks, depending on what you're doing, to, to make that easier. Like if I have my TVI on the wingtip, and I know I'm strafing in that direction, and you'll see me do this in old Vanderbilt sometimes. Literally, the only thing I have to do to mitigate Gs in a tricord is simply rotate the wings a little bit. Just get myself into a side strafe and try to offload those positive Gs into side to side Gs. And, you know, that just comes with experience and just practice. And eventually, again, you'll be able to just kind of do this by instinct, do it automatically. Anything else? <laughs>